Hey guys, Money01 here. Today is an exciting day for me. This is my first video tutorial and my first commentary. I made this video last September, but I've recently changed jobs and haven't had the proper time to make new videos. Today I want to show you guys how I completed the Essential Elements quest, which is obtained from Lord Shax in the Tower. After completing Step 4, or the Blade of Day, return to the Crucible Handler to obtain the quest, Essential Elements. You will need 500 Void Kills. As a Titan, this was the easiest way I found to complete the quest. Obviously you're going to need your Defender class, and I chose to bring along the Monte Carlo for its Monte Carlo method, which reduces melee cooldown when dealing damage with a chance to fully recharge your melee ability. I also brought the chest piece Armitarium, specifically for Grenade Booster. This allows you to gain an additional grenade. Keep in mind that these are Year 1 items. I didn't have Year 2 at the time. In your Defender tree, I chose Magnetic Grenade because it sticks to enemies and has a double explosion effect. Make sure you also choose Unbreakable as Force Burial will count for Void Kills. After that we're all prepped and primed to leave the tower and head to Earth. Set your destination to Siege of the Warmind. Rasputin. Once on Earth, follow my guardian to Rasputin's bunker. Rasputin remains silent, but still fights to protect us. We cannot let Crota's army find a way around the war mine's defenses, or Crota's disciples will flood the earth. When you get to the opening Rasputin's of Rasputin's bunker, head down to the Seraphim Vault. Once you are inside the vault, make sure to kill the knights and the acolytes, leaving the thrall to bunch up and kill. Also remember the Monte Carlo method and its effect for Force Barrier. After killing the knights and the acolytes, it's time to bunch the thrall up. As you'll notice, and as embarrassing as is, I just missed one with a big swing and a miss. Bunch the thralls up, throw a magnetic grenade, and make sure to stay out of the area. After killing the first wave, it's time to round up the second that comes down the stairs. Remember that Force Barrier will only count for kills as long as it's not active. After killing the last Acolyte, gather the Thrall, throw another Magnetic Grenade, and stay clear. Instead of killing the small amount of remaining Thrall with Magnetic Grenade or Force Barrier, I decided to shoot them before killing myself to rinse and repeat the cycle. You will respawn at the beginning of the Vault if you do not kill the Yellow Knight at the top of the stairs just before entering Rasputin's room. From here again guys, just remember to kill the knights and acolytes. Just remember to gather, kill, gather, and kill. I found this farming way very effective. If the video helped you, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment below.